Hi, this is my contest entry for Missy's um, How to Not Do Your Makeup contest. Uh, if you're seeing this without knowing about the contest, do not follow these tips. Don't pump your mascara. Don't curly lashes after you do your mascara. Don't forget to add a highlight. Don't do these things, please. I mean, unless you really want to look this gorgeous. Yeah, I hope you don't. <laughs> so, um, this was really fun. I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun. Bye. Alright, first things first. First, apply some foundation. All over the face. I use some nice, really, really thick foundation so I can get the best coverage. There we go. Now some, where is it? Some setting powder. This foundation is burning my eyes. Smooth it in. Uh, don't get it in your hair. I know it kind of looks like I already have eyeliner on. That's because I slept in my makeup last night. Whoops. There you go. Nice heavy coverage. Hold on. Next we're going to apply some blue eyeshadow. These are some Coastal Sense brushes I just got today. I haven't washed them yet. Apply that all the way up to the brow bone, all the way down to the edge of the eyebrow and in the inner corner and everything. Just an all over color. There we go. And then on the other eye. There we go. Don't skimp out. I don't know what is wrong with my camera, but it just stopped working. Like it said it was still going, but apparently it wasn't. All I did was add purple underneath and black in the crease. I used this purple before I was using this blue on the Coastal Sense Ultra Shimmer Palette. And for the black, I used this black in the e.l.f. palette. Now I'm just applying eyeliner. Nice and, you know what, it's easier if you pull it like that. Because then it doesn't like smear around. It's just a lot easier this way. Do both sides. Underneath. And the waterline. It's really easy to do your waterline if you like just stick it right there, close your eyes on it, and just glide across. And just. Oops. Now I just poke myself in the eyeball and just glide across. Yes. Alright. Then we're going to do mascara. Make sure you pump your mascara. I've had this thing for like, oh, it smells really bad. Like, it smells really weird because I've had it for like nine or ten months. So I need to pump it a lot so I can get like as much color as out of this dried up tube as I can. There we go. Let's see how am I gonna look at so you can see this. This is nice and clumpy, just how I like it. There we go. And then after you do your mascara, make sure you curl your lashes. Make sure you do it afterwards because that way the stickiness of the mascara will make it curl better. 
keep blinking and it hurts. <laughs> Next we're going to do blush. I like to use the, oh, the three hot pinks right here, just like, like that. Makes it, makes a really nice pink blush. And then just from the nose out, just sweep it all the way. From the nose out to the temple. Nose to the temple. Right underneath your eye. And then we're going to do our lips. I don't really have any lip liner, so I just use this copper lip, this cop, not lip pencil, copper eyeliner. It works. I don't know if like bacteria from my eye is getting on my lips when I do this, but like I don't know. I'm not a scientist. It's probably fine. Let's make it nice and dark. Make sure it's outside of your lip line because that's how you get like the those like nice plump looking lips that you see on the streets. You know what I mean. Oopsies. There we go. There's something wrong with my camera and it constantly just like cuts out and it says it's still rolling, but it just cuts out and my camera hates me. So, yeah. But all I did was put lip gloss on with my finger. These two colors for my e.l.f. palette. That's it. That's all I did. And then, I'm going to put some super glossy lip gloss on top. Yeah. You know you like that. It's nice and glossy. Now with some black eyeliner, just fill in your eyebrows so they're nice and defined. There we go. Try to make sure they're even right here. Always use black. Well, I mean, at least if you have dark hair like me. Always use black because I think it's supposed to be like five shades darker than your natural color or something when you do your eyebrows. I don't know. I'm not a makeup artist. There we go. Alright. And now for the finishing touch. This look would be nothing without this last step. Once again, my camera cut out, so my finishing last touch, as you can see, was applying glitter, free glitter, free body glitter, but not, not free as in, it doesn't cost me money, like free as in, it's like powder, all over the face, just, I just sprinkle it on my hand, as you can see, my hand's completely and utterly glittery, and just like that, pat it all over the face, and then Go like that to get all the extra off. Ugh! There's glitter everywhere. There's glitter all over my laptop. Okay, anyway. And, I mean, some people want to do it just on their eyes, but I want to do it on the whole face because that's how you really make the whole extreme, fabulous look tied together. I mean, you don't want just your eyes to pop. You don't want just your lips to pop. You want the whole face face. That's how you get this gorgeous look right here. So, um, hope you enjoyed this.